show you how to change the filament on your Ultimaker 2. So to start with, you just want to go into the menu and select material, then change. And at this point, it will start heating up and getting ready to eject. Right, so we're going to be swapping it for this ColourFab PLA, so that's PHA, in sky blue. This is available from our website. Let's just open up the box. You see like this. Cellophane. So there you go, that's all ejected now. Just want to make sure you coil up the spool nice and tight, as tight as possible. Just avoid any tangles next time you use it. Just spin it around like that. Leave it. And then there's little holes in the spool, which you can see there. And just poke that bit of filament through. Just keep it nice and secure. And you can store that away. Right, so here's our new spool. Um, if we just take that off there. Put it on the spool holder and then just feed it round the filament guide, which is here. And it's quite important to make sure that this first little bit that you're inserting is nice and straight, just to get it in nice and cleanly. That looks pretty good. So you insert that into the small hole at the bottom of the feeder there, and then come around to the front. It's saying remove material, and then we go ready. And the feeder will start to slowly feed in the new filament. Right, and that's got a grip now. So we can go around to the front again, and select ready and it will just speed up the feeder. And then that new filament will start to extrude. Right, and there you go, you can see the first little bit coming out. Um, it's coming out red to start with, which is just the old colour. And you want to keep it going until you get a nice steady flow of the new. So that's looking quite good now. It's nearly all blue. And there you go, that looks pretty good to me. Um, so if we select ready, that will stop. And then you want to select the material. In this case, we're using PLA, so select PLA, and then OK, and you're ready to print. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, then please click to subscribe. For more information on the printers and materials we've used in this video, visit dream3d.co.uk.